Mayor Caldwell says the city's agreement with an undisclosed hotel adds an extra 130 rooms to isolate people who are COVID-19 positive. Max Rodriguez has more details on the program. The mayor says it's temporary lodging in Waikiki for people to isolate and quarantine, but they are not sharing the name or specific location of the hotel under their agreement. The city says there's now more than 300 rooms online to isolate people with COVID-19. This program with the city and the state's DOH has housed homeless people. The mayor says the additional rooms can also isolate those living in crowded conditions and even first responders. We have last Friday retained an entire hotel of hundreds of rooms to quarantine folks in that are either positive or come into close contact with positives including first responders that stand here with us today. The state's first quarantine facility opened back in April on Ka'aahi Street. It's city-owned but ran by the state's Department of Health. The state says it will be its staff and contractors doing surrounding services for those in quarantine. In general, the hotel staff will be taking a back seat to all of the interactions with the people that are staying uh, in the hotels with, that have COVID and our staff and our contractors will be doing the, most of the interaction. Council member Tommy Waters representing Waikiki says he is for the program and it could actually benefit some residents. I've heard stories of people quarantining in their car and to me that's way more dangerous than quarantining in a hotel room. But he wants to double check safety measures. I want to make sure wraparound services also include making sure these folks aren't leaving their hotel rooms and hotels and walking the streets, because that's the last thing we want. Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. And now to the latest numbers.